Hello. I hope everyone is well. I am very excited to be with you for another Sunday night. This is the last Sunday night before I, I come home. So um, so I over the next couple of days going to be traveling and um, I imagine I'll be pretty tired, but I will plan to be live with you again on Friday night, this coming Friday night. So what day would that be? The 9th. Uh, the 7th is Wednesday. So yes, the 9th. So there we go. Um, I hope... Uh, I hope you've been enjoying all the photos and all the things I've been posting, um, which because it, I actually haven't left yet. It's very odd because I'm talking about my life in the future. But as you watch this, uh, my holiday is coming to an end. So I'm actually away on the Stampin' Up! incentive trip. Um, and this time it was a seven-night trip to Norway and we also tacked on some time in the UK. So that's the reason that, um, that I'm not live with you tonight. But I wanted to switch over to the desk and I'm going to show you one of my new favourite suites from the new catalogue. So let me switch. Here we go. should be able to see that there. Try and straighten it up a little bit. All right. So in this new annual catalogue, there are lots of beautiful things that really um, are very exciting and one of the first things that stuck out to me I just had to have it immediately it was on my very first order and that was the Les Shops uh, suite of products and it's focused around the Let's Go Shopping stamp set and the Let's Go Shopping dies that are together as a bundle there's also this gorgeous gorgeous paper with all the little shops and um, there's little patisserie items and there's books and all sorts of things because you can have bookshops or you can have um, you can have um, like patisserie kind of items just beautiful and then some, some gorgeous sequins that are part of this bundle as well haven't used those yet but I'm thinking they'd be fun for like maybe making a shaker card but I can't wait to use them I love the samples on this page I just think they're beautiful this one has this one has been set up as a shaker they've actually stamped the shop the bottom half of the shop and then the top part that is up here they've popped that inside and then they've made a shaker a shaker window with those sequins inside and I just think that's stunning love 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 all the different images can't wait to do a lot more with this but I'm going to do a really pretty basic card now those of you who are at my Hunter Valley class um, in uh, back back in May uh, last month a couple of weeks ago now um, would have seen this card already so my apologies if you've seen it but I might I'll see if I can step it up and do a couple of little different things with it um, so the fun thing about this is that when you have you have your little shop with this shop window okay and you can choose what goes in your window you can have a flower pot you can have some a chair and tables like a little cafe you can have a patisserie with all your little cakes and you know it looks like um, some bread and some some little little French offering of um, beautiful little pastries there and then there's also you can have books and tonight I thought we might do books because I really love the idea of books in my bookshop um, I've got a piece of oh and I will show you these quickly before we go too far I may may use these tonight um, so this one here cuts out you can see it's got like the little bit at the bottom there for the steps so it perfectly cuts out the little shop this one does the top up so you can attach them and make it into one big double story building if you want to which is really rather cute these little guys here cut out these windows um, super super cute I love them I just think they're so clever you got a little a little um, like a window or a mirror here and um, you can also use it as a label as well so there's a whole bunch of different things you can do with these and I think they're lots and lots of fun we've got one a little um, awning here there's a stripy awning and they have a solid awning which you can layer them together you've got a little park bench and how cute how cute is this I haven't even removed it I haven't used it yet but I can't wait to little light posts little lamp posts how cute is that love it so lots of fun things so if you like making little scenes or concocting kind of um you know little stories with your stamps this is a really great one to do that i think it'd be good for dioramas because you could easily do that one of my favorite um pieces of paper 
in this piece is this one that has a balmy blue background and just white outlines of all the shops and I really really like that um, you can see it's got a little bit of greenery here that's actually a dye that actually there's a dye that does that around the corner of your shop too so I'm actually going to pop this on I've measured this this piece is my card front well let's let's fold our base first let's do that and I'm just going to pop that on there and then we're going to do a little bit of coloring with this one tonight because it's always fun to color so I'm going to stamp my little shop on here I've got um, a white circle that is going to be behind my shop I've also got a, uh, a banner to do my greeting on so this is my card front measured to 10 centimeters by 14.3 okay, which is my standard card front size and I'm going to po uh, pop this bit of paper there's enough glue coming out here it's nearly empty that one see all the little shops on the back how cute that is too love all the paper I'll have to get a second pack of this because there's some of the designs are just so pretty there's a few that look like mosaics, you know, tiled kind of designs. Now, something else I wanted to do here, I've got a piece of that more Dazzle 6x6 six six paper that we, we used this last week too and I cut some leaves with it. This week, um, I'm actually going to pop this down here on the edge of this paper just to have a bit of bling at the top and the bottom and I think it looks really nice. So I find the easiest thing to do to put this on is usually to... Uh, use some seal. I'm just looking to see if I have any here because I just moved some out to the other table. Never mind. I'll just use, use some Tombow. That works as well. Just a little thin line of Tombow all the way along. And let's butt that up against this bit of beautiful DSP. And that won't take very long at all to dry. All right, then I've got my round circle here. And this is going to go behind my shop. So for this, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'll am thinking i use some lemon lolly. And I've got a blending brush here with lemon lolly on it. This is, uh, I'm rather liking this color yellow. Really liking it. I'm finding I'm using it for lots of things. I, I want the yellow on my circle to come out from behind the shop. So I'm going to go fairly close to the edges. doesn't matter if it's not perfectly, um, what's the word, even, <laughs> because the shop's going to be on top of this anyway. So I just want there to be some colour showing around the edges. All right. Then I'm going to use Memento. And I'm going to grab my little shop and I'm going to pop it onto a block. Now block D is a good size for this. So let me grab that. This is probably my most used size. If I had to talk about what size um, block I use the most, if people are wondering which block to get first, D is a really good medium size block. Um, and then I find I also use C, which is one size down, and E, which is one size up from time to time. But D would be the one that I use the most. Now, ideally, really, I should have a mat under this i'm just looking to see um, i used my mat yesterday when i was doing my swaps <laughs> and um my swaps are all finished all done i'm not showing not haven't shown them to anybody yet but by the time you see this video um they would have been all given out and i will have posted them online so you probably have seen them but i haven't posted them at the time that i'm recording recording this all right so I'm not going to make mine a double-decker shop today. It'll just be this level of shop. And I think I'm just deciding, will I? Might as well. I mean, I can cut it out by hand. It's not hard to do. But we might as well use the die because it's right here. And I'm just going to quickly whip off to the big shop and, sorry, the cut and emboss machine and quickly do this.
see how nice this is. It's just really cute. So what we want to do now is we want to decide what we want in our shop window. And this is the fun bit, I think. So I think today we're going to have some books because books are fun, right? You could also have a cafe and put some chairs and tables in or you could have your croissants and bits and pieces. Um, did I just take the books out? Oh, no, here they are. Oh, silly me. All right, so I've got my books. I'm just going to use block B because it's quite small. And I'm going to use my memento again. Actually, let's just close up the lemon molly. We don't need that right now. And let's... So what we're going to do is we're going to pop... If you use the bottom shelf, whether it's the croissants and things or whether it's the books, if you use the bottom shelf right down at the bottom of the window, it lines up and it's really easy to stamp it exactly where you want it. See how cute that is? Super cute. <laughs> so now our shop is starting to take shape. We know it's a bookshop, which is rather cute. And now I want to give it a bit of colour. So... When I did mine the other day, I used red for the doors because I do like a good red door. But maybe today, maybe today I'll use, or maybe I'll have a blue door. Maybe. We'll see. And we might have some red books. So I've got, this is Night of Navy blends. And I'm actually going to use the thin end only because it's only a small area that I'm colouring. And I don't want to use my fat end and struggle to stay inside the line. So I'm going to start with my darker one down the bottom here if you haven't used blends before you only need a very light touch with them they're not like textures you don't really rub it's more like floating your your blend over the paper so you're barely making content contact with the paper and that way they last a lot longer because um i have been through a lot of blends because I let many of my customers use them and it, sometimes it takes a little while for them to get the hang of them. So this is the lighter one now. It's a bit brighter as you can see. And the thing with the blends is you want to go over the edge of your dark with your light. I, that's how I blend them. I start with the dark one and then my, my light one does all the work. That's just how different people do it different ways but I like to start with the dark. And then you will find that they will blend together beautifully where they can, where they run one into the other, but they work best if you do it while they're still wet. So you don't want to do a huge area and then come back and try and blend it because you'll have less success. It will take maybe much harder to get a good blend. But if you are doing it quickly and moving over a small area, then it's much more successful. So because of the alcohol in them, they blend really nicely together. All right, so I've got a blue door today and I'm going to colour a couple of my books blue too, I think. So I'm going to have a blue book here and a blue book down here. And maybe this will be a partly blue book as well. All right, then let's see. I think we'll have, we're doing a bit, a bit going a bit primary. So I think I'm going to do... A Daffodil Delight and maybe Real Red. We don't need to worry about using two colours of blends because it's such a small area. So I'm going to have a red book here. And I'm going to have a red book down the bottom here as well, but the spine will be a different colour. So it's a bit of fun to muck around with these. Oh, this one seen better days you see that so if ever that happens it, it's hard once it comes out like that it's not likely to be redeemed this is an old 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 one i've had for a long time i didn't want to use the fat end because the fat end so this one really needs to be thrown away <laughs> and i'll just grab another one all right this is also daffodil and i'm going to just do the spine of that book there and make a yellow book here and maybe a yellow book up here. And maybe one last colour. Maybe, hmm, let's go, will we go Old Olive? Or deciding what colours to use. 
Hmm, I'm thinking maybe shaded spruce. So I'm going to go a light shaded spruce, not the dark, because that's quite dark. It takes a little time to colour with blends, but I don't mind because it's quite therapeutic. Just bear in mind, I can't answer back to you guys when you're um, <laughs> when you're typing and I'm not actually live. I'm, this is all pre-recorded, so if I'm not answering your questions, that's why. But I will try and get back to answer your questions at a later point. All right. So there we go. I'm thinking maybe we'll go with a light crumb cake around the edge here around the window just a light beige now you can keep going as much as you like you can color it all in if you want to I'm going to leave some white I'm actually thinking I might go up to a slightly darker crumb cake this is the dark one and do the tops here Sorry, I go quiet when I when I colour. Most people do, I find. Now we could, and I'm thinking we might. I've got some balmy blue, which is going to match in nicely with my with my base here. So I've got a, a light balmy blue, and I've got a darker one. I'm going to go with the light one because it's still plenty plenty enough colour and I'm just going to do this window here. The nice thing about blends is if they go on a little bit rough the alcohol in them blends them together and they end up it ends up quite smooth so you might think your colouring is rough don't worry it's going to smooth out with your blends. And I might do the steps and I'm thinking that might be enough for this one. But it's just a fun little set and I really rather like it. Now the thing that seems that's missing to me, it needs an awning. Um, and I'm thinking I did actually have a whole bunch of awnings left over from my class the other day. But I'm not sure what became of those. So I may just think, I think I'll just cut one. So bring in the machine. found a, an old scrap that was obviously used for something else look at that little star <laughs> but I can use that scrap bit to cut an awning so if anyone's wondering about this this is the boho blue mini cut and emboss machine uh, this is left over from a promotion that was on at the beginning of the year it was a joining promotion a really good one and you got one of these for free for a particular spend going to rip this off and put this piece through um, which was lovely but they had some left over and um, they have offered them this month to customers if they would like to purchase one so if you didn't if you missed out on the boho blue mini before and you've had you wish you had it this is your chance it's $110 to buy one of these here in Australia, um, which is interesting because the um, the white cut and emboss machine, the mini, the but in white, the standard one, is actually um, $115. So the blue one is a little bit cheaper, and that's a cool thing. All right, let me grab my take your pick tool here, and I'm going to push this out. So I've got my little awning which I think will look, will brighten this whole thing up. Look at this. Isn't that cute? Little awning. Love it. <laughs> These dies are so fun. Really fun dies. All right, so I need to pop that on. 
just a little bit of Tombow will do that trick. Come on, out you come. There we go. A little bit there, a little bit here. And just position that there inside the window at the top. How cute. Makes all the difference, doesn't it, that little awning? Well, and I've just realized I missed the I missed a little bit. That's a little um, like a little envelope or a maybe a gone out sign hanging on the door there, and I need to colour that top bit. Okay, so this now is going to go on my yellow circle. Okay, so it's going to go here. So you've got some nice little bit of yellow coming out from behind. And I'm going to grab some more dimensionals. Got a couple of those. One and two. Three and four. Okay. And this is taking shape now, it's coming together. It's a really nice little thing with the with the white buildings in the background. I really like this. And that little bit of colouring makes it special, right? And it doesn't take all that long. Just make sure it's straight. All right, the last thing I'm having here, I've got this little banner. This is cut with the stylish shapes dies. And down here, I want to have my little greeting. And we have a, a few choices. We've got happy birthday. We've got um, let's get together. These will both fit nicely. You could even just have one that says bakery. There's a good luck. There's some really nice little sentiments here. But I've got this one here that says let's get together, which I think is nice. It's the sort of card you could give to a friend and, I think that that says it all because it's nice when we get together with our friends. All right, let's put this right there. And then I'm going to pop a couple of dimensionals, just pop my lid on this, pop a couple of dimensionals under that and we'll call that a finished card. Just going to use some edge pieces from my dimensional pack. Let's pop this on here. Whoop, the right way would be good. Like that. Now you could, if you want to, as a, you could, uh, in my class I used that beautiful um, Barmy Blue and White ribbon, this, this ribbon, which is just stunning. But it's quite a big bow and tonight I'm going to use my other favourite ribbon and I used this one last week as well and that is the, the Night of Navy bordered ribbon. This is really nice. Actually this is the end of a roll so I'm going to use that up. And I'm just going to tie get rid of that end piece and I'll trim that off. I'm just going to tie this I'm giving myself a little, it's always a challenge, I think, if you're working with a small piece, but it's not too small, it's not bad at all, actually. I'm just going to make my bow a little smaller, my loops smaller, by pulling them and readjusting them. All right, so let's grab our ribbon scissors and... You just keep working at it until the ribbon the bow looks the way you want the bow to look and I'm thinking just a little bow here like this and I'll attach that with a glue dot now the question of course is bling what bling should we have because 
because I know how much you guys love that. Jodie, if you're watching, I always think of you every time I put bling on a card. <laughs> All right, so um, I'm going to pop some Tombow behind here. And this is going to go onto my white card base that I folded at the beginning. Okay, that's looking really cute. But we do need to add some bling. We could go with iridescent pearls. Those are always good. wonder what else would be nice with this oh these are nice these are um these are the lovely little balmy blue actually are they boho blue or balmy blue and there's also lemon lolly um these are um they match the daisies sweet the cheerful daisies these are called adhesive back solid gems those might be the go because those are really nice i mean we've got our pastel gems those always look good because they've got the balmy blue pastel gems so they they would also go but i'm thinking maybe the lemon lolly would be a good choice let's do those so it's going to match our circle at the back so i'm going to have one down here and then maybe a medium one a little higher and a little tiny guy up here near the top of the shop and there we go finished card what do you think do we like this i really like it and i think actually the navy ribbon looks really good because it matches in with the colors that are in the in the um the coloring with the blends so that works really really well the only thing i'm noticing is that this little um i, I left it white because to me it looked like it should be a white like a letter or a piece of paper but actually it seems not quite it looks like it's not colored so i'm actually going to color it with my balmy blue that's better i feel better now there we go okay that's our card this week so the shopping set it's called let's go shopping the dies and the stamps um i think they're heaps and heaps of fun the paper is gorgeous absolutely beautiful um but I, I would think that you would really enjoy this set. If, it, if you love being able to put, through, put together a little story or a little scene, this is going to be really right up your alley. The paper is divine and the, the silver sequins, I didn't use those tonight. Ooh, let me see, where are they? Here they are. Let me show them to you really quickly. So you can buy the whole suite. These are called loose silver sequins and they are really gorgeous. Look at those. Aren't they beautiful? shiny shiny we like those <laughs> okay well thanks for spending another night with me i've enjoyed um doing this little card for you and um i hope you all enjoyed your evening here together um i will be back in this coming week and uh it'll be fun to share some fun new things with you in coming up videos going actually live which will be awesome all right guys have a fantastic week ahead and i will see you soon Bye bye